Art of Rally has quickly become one of my favourite arcade racing games of all time. I'd never played it before the launch of Traction, but since making that first introductory video, I've been fascinated by the whole thing. There is something magic and mysterious about this game that can't really be explained until you play it. Maybe it's the lack of people or conversation? It's like music. You can be away in your own little world, in this case nothing except you, the car and the environment. This game is a mood and has a totally captivating personality without saying anything at all. Whilst recording the first video for Traction, I realised just how badly I wanted to actually set a good stage time. It was a quest for that satisfying feeling of nailing the perfect run, not just for the competitive side of me, but also for that rare feeling racing games can give you that make you feel like for a split second you actually are Ayrton Senna or Colin McRae, totally at one with the car and the elements. I gave this a go in the previous video, and managed to get surprisingly close to a world record. Yes! Oh wow! Smashed it! 246.3! Yes! Top 1%! I ended the recording pretty content with the third place result, but as the days passed I started getting a little bit more irritated that I'd gotten so close without actually taking the top spot. So inevitably, there I was again, determined to become a world record holder on Art of Rally. This is what happened. It's so good to be back on Art of Rally. I just absolutely love this game. As soon as I'm on the menu, it just gets me excited. So last time out, I did uh, a German stage, so let's do something different this time. There's a five mile stage here called Nasu Highland, which is in Japan. Uh, I'm from the Highlands, so I'm kind of drawn towards this one. You can pick different weather, and I think because we're racing on Nasu Highland, I'm gonna have to go with rain because it always rains in the Highlands. And for car class, I've been going Group S for all the other ones, but I think if we're gonna keep with the Scottish theme, why don't we go Colin McRae's Group A Subaru? iconic car. Now I've never tried this stage before again, I've, I've driven this car once before um, but only for like a minute or two so it's going to be pretty new to me. Let's see what we've got here. So the world record is a 2 minute 48.1 uh, so that's the time we're going to be aiming to try and beat. No idea if that's good or not. Probably is. Looks like the two door version as well from the late 90s so this would have been the last Subaru he drove before he moved to Ford in 99. This is just one of the iconic rally cars growing up for me like and probably ever. It's just magical so here we go then five mile stage in japan first time playing in the rain as well i've never tried that before so this might go horribly wrong oh we've got standing water you can see puddles as well that's gonna be interesting okay first run away we go let's see how this thing handles the wet now this car will be quicker than the group s in terms of its class because it's the it's the final class actually in the game so these should be the fastest cars in the game theoretically this bridge looks a bit like the Glenfin and Viaduct, only it's a road instead of a railway line. Okay, once again, these first number of runs are just going to be about learning the stage, trying not to make too many mistakes, and yeah, we just go from there, really. At this stage, I was feeling pretty motivated. It had only taken me an hour or so to get within three seconds of a world record last time, so surely I'd only need a couple of hours max to bag myself the number one spot this time round. I was quietly confident that I would manage this without too much stress. Oh, that's a tree. That's a tree. This car is properly powerful, like I cannot push the accelerator too hard at all. And as you can see, I'm absolutely all over the place. The wet weather is nice. It's, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it just makes everything a little bit slippier and a bit more unpredictable, which is nice as well. Oh, gone off again. Lots of kind of fast flowing corners in this stage. Actually, you get into quite a good rhythm with it. There's not too many sharp hairpins, although saying that, maybe there are and I'm just not driving them like hairpins. Feel the sheep on the left, that's very Highlands. Hey buddies. Ow. Ow. Oh, and across the line. <laughs> Terrible finish, 3 minutes 22. That's, that's a long way off, I'm pretty sure. Right then, attempt number two. Let's just try and reduce the number of mistakes. Slightly cleaner stage. Still don't know it at all, so I'm not gonna really push too hard, but. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. Oh no, I've hit the rock. Ah, that's a reset. That's gonna ruin the time completely. Oh, these puddles are lethal. Just bouncing from puddle to puddle and it's, um, yeah, when you really get into them, they're, they're pretty slippy. Spectator's getting very wet. Oh, much quicker through the last chicane. This run's not been great. A couple of big mistakes, including a few crashes and penalties. Um, I think that's quicker than the last run though. So mildly quicker than the last run. We, we are up into 50%, so we're halfway up the leaderboard. Um, so yeah going I guess. And so then began the process of chipping away at things and trying to learn as much as possible about how my inputs affected the car's behaviour. 
I also had a huge amount still to learn about the stage itself. I really need to start paying attention to what corners are where now and, and try learning it, because I still feel like I'm not really expecting any of the corners. Ah, oh, into the tree, keep it going. I'm still trying to decide whether I should be avoiding the puddles to give me more grip, but driving around them is maybe more of a hindrance. It's really tricky to know. I think avoid them if I can, but don't think too much about it. It's probably the way to go. Oh, and there's another tree. Damn. Too many mistakes in that one. I'm just going to restart and go again. I think the specific aspect I found most challenging at this stage was the constantly changing levels of grip. Whether there was standing water in the braking zone or not had a massive impact on my cornering ability. There were other challenges to consider too, such as dipping a wheel onto the grass and even the elevation changes within the stage. This game does give you an amazing perspective of depth relative to what you might expect from a top-down arcade racer, but it was still tricky to determine exactly how the car would react at the crest of each hill. Give me grip! Oh no, 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 no. Get it back on, get it back on. There we go. Oh no, that's a massive shunt! Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. At one minute I was just fully concentrated, the next I was having a Colin McRae sized shunt. Oh dear. Oh, shame about the ending. Still a couple of major mistakes throughout that stage though, and it's going to actually be slower than the previous run. I'm not that surprised, it was probably going to be quicker until the massive crash. Try and use some of that knowledge that I'm learning to alleviate some of those mistakes because I'm still making far too many. I just know that, you know, one clean run will knock off 15 seconds or something. No, oh, clip to tree! Uh, reverse, reverse. Okay, still a couple of mistakes, but much better. 311.6. So much room to improve, guys, so much room to improve. But that has jumped me up into 28th position. Top 40%. I think we're still going to be a long way off the top. Yeah, 23 and a half seconds. That feels like a lot, guys. If 23 and a half seconds does feel like a lot. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep plugging away and see where we get. Definitely got to focus more on smoother throttle applications. And also just keeping it within the white lines. Like, there's so much more grip in the tarmac. This first jump is actually really tricky. Because the car just gets so light so early on. Um, yeah, technical. It's just very, very easy to push too hard and overdrive. That's what I'm finding. Similar to the last one, to be fair. This is probably around the time where I began to realise the scale of the challenge that I'd set myself. The combination of the fastest car with the trickiest weather conditions and a technical stage with minimal margin for error was, to put it mildly, a bold choice. I definitely think this particular stage has been harder, or this, this combo has been harder than the, the one I did in the last video. I don't know if it's just the wet weather making it slippier or the car being faster, but I'm finding it much tougher to actually get close to the limits of, of what a world record actually is. Um, it's taking me more attempts, the corners are a little bit harder to learn I feel, and maybe that's just the nature of the stage. And there's a good example of it. Frustration was slowly beginning to creep in as I made mistake after mistake and struggled to string together a solid run. Perhaps even more frustratingly, when I did avoid making any major mistakes, the stage time was still miles off. This run so far has still been very scrappy, like a lot of kind of minor mistakes, but no major spins or anything, so it's probably gonna be you know, five to ten seconds quicker maybe, so we're gonna we're gonna I reckon we're gonna get that gap under fifteen seconds to the world record. This last section's so tricky. Come on, power down. Yeah, that's better. 306.7. It's not actually as much quicker as I was hoping, which is which is tough. We're into the top twenty. 18.5 seconds off first with no major mistakes. So it's still like we've got to find half a second on every single corner still. You're literally going to have to learn pretty much every corner to the point where you can just get the right line that's going to keep you the speed up the most. Like every single corner needs to be right. Any little mistakes where you run wide a bit, it's instantly giving you a much smaller chance of actually breaking the world record. And I guess that's what's so fun about the challenge. Like you need to hit such a good stage to actually get there. not what I'm doing right now. It was now getting to the point where I was hitting restart after every single mistake or big slide. There is a moment where you can kind of become a robot, and that's when you know that your patience and tolerance levels are low. Ah, that corner has got me so many times. In my experience, normally when this happens during practice for sim racing events, it means you need to take a break, but in the moment it can be hard to pull yourself away from that situation, as you're so desperate to fix the problem before stopping. In actual fact, not stopping becomes the problem. Normally in sim racing when this happens to me, 
uh, and it happens to most people. Um, you you find if you do take a break and stop, and then come back to it, your first run back will be better than what you were doing at the end, because your your brain just needs that little bit of rest. Am I feeling confident that I'm going to get the world record at this stage? Not super confident. I think it's possible. You know, j just when I when I take it corner by corner and think right, half a second per corner, and that that would be if I made no mistakes. And I didn't make some mistakes, so there's definitely some you know potential there to get to get it. Do I think I will? Uh, maybe, but it just might take a long time. Obviously, you guys know I love a challenge, so I, I don't mind this. Um, it might be a case of seeing how close I can get just now, and then you know coming back to finish this video <laughs> after a bit of a break or do something else because it just depends how long it's going to take. Despite this, I continued to push on, desperate to give myself a glimmer of hope. No, that's that run ruined. Come on, get back on the road. Ah, come on! Stupid rocks. Ah, no. I've got to say, I've hit a bit of a rut in these last few attempts because I, I know that I can go faster than the time I've done so far, quite comfortably. So the problem is I'm pushing that bit harder, still making the mistakes and not actually getting to the end with, with a decent time. So it's like, what ends up happening is you just get tired, you start getting frustrated, and like this, for example, just making stupid mistakes where you can't keep it on the road. And I'm, I'm kind of, I can feel myself reaching that point where I just need to take a break. Watch the chicane, get close to the bales, miss the one on the left though, that's going to cost me a second or so. Over the line, 302, 301.9. Yeah, it's another 5 seconds off maybe. Okay, that puts us 13th, top 20%. We are 13.8 seconds away. 13 seconds is still a lot of time when you have no big incidents. It's still a lot of time. Come on. Just want to end on a high note. Can I get within 10 seconds even? That would be lovely. 10 seconds of the world record will do me for now. No, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. I think it's time to give it a rest and finally do what I've been saying. Take a break. Go grab some lunch. And I'll come back and give this another try this afternoon. And if I don't get it this afternoon, then I'm going to try again tomorrow. I am, I am going to get this world record. I'm definitely going to get it. Okay, I've had my break. I've had some lunch. I'm feeling revitalized, re-energized, and refreshed. So I'm now going to jump back in. How much closer can we get? I've still got a long way to go, but I just know that a clean run with some speed will be closer. And then, then it's just a case of refining certain corners. I'm, I'm well up for that. Okay, nice and smooth. I'm zen, I'm relaxed, and it seems to be helping. After the break, I was able to reset my brain and rationally focus on the task at hand. I still had some corners to learn, of course, and room for improvement in my driving technique. It's repetitive learning I need to do here to try and learn each corner individually, like that one, for example. That's another two seconds gone. Oh, that's a nasty shunt. Oh, I'm sorry, people. I've totally screwed this one up again. That, oh, I didn't even, come on. As you can see, despite the new energy, things didn't automatically become easier. I was still making mistakes consistently and still a long way from where I needed to be. I think by this many attempts in the last one, I probably would have beaten the world record and some by now. With this one, I'm still, still not got to the line within, what, 10 seconds or something? It's just really hard to back off the right amount because going slow doesn't mean you don't crash all the time. So it's like, you need to push. It's just knowing the corners. It's just knowing the corners. That corner. Oh, you're getting it confused with the one before it. As the self-doubt began to creep in yet again, I knew that simply hooking up one clean run without any major mistakes would be fast enough to motivate me again. I think I just need a confidence boost. I need to know that it's possible. I need to know that I'm, I'm not a million miles away. But I am a million miles away because I cannot get this middle sector right for the life of me. I'm so sorry, people. That's the run gone. Yeah, that kind of sums it up, really. I'm just going backwards, and it's not, it's still not working. I mean, I'm 13th in the leaderboard, but I'm just still so far off. Ah, oh, rocks at the finish as well. That would have been a much quicker run. Oh. Well, you know, I was at the chicane well under three minutes, so that's something at least. The chicane's only a couple of seconds from the finish. By now, I had been going at this for a long time. The frustration levels were making their way back towards where they had been prior to my break. However, one positive to take from all of these failed attempts was that I was finally beginning to find the limits of the car, at some corners at least. 
it's fair to say that when I wasn't crashing, I was actually carrying some decent speed. Oh no. Coming up to the last section, 2.45 when I reach that bit. That's not too far off, I don't think. It's going to be way better. It's going to be way, way better. 2.55.6 and it's still... You saw at the end there, it was not great. It's going to jump us up another few positions. Still waiting for it to load. Okay, 13th on the 301. Yeah, but where does our 255 put us? Come on. The leaderboard is not loading for some reason, but 255.6. If I go to the front page here, 255.6 is enough for 6th position. So I feel like that's where we are. 6th position would mean we're still 7 seconds off. So, oh, it's, it's a little bit more possible now. It's a little bit more possible. Could you imagine if I actually broke the world record and then the time didn't save? How <laughs> frustrating would that be? Oh, that's the first time I've been down there before. Only took me multiple hundred attempts. Let's get to that point now where I'm restarting, like, constantly. Just stupid mistakes. It's like, I've completely learned the muscle memory of hitting restart now to the point where it's just, you know, drive two corners, drive terribly, restart, repeat process. It becomes like this strange robotic routine that you end up doing. Now obviously with this game, this is not a game that's in my comfort zone, I'm not an experienced arcade over the top racer, so you know it's harder for me to get a world record than it would be on something that I'm more used to. Uh, and I'm, yeah, it's showing. Like that. It's... It's tough, it's tough. At this stage, I was resigned to the fact that today probably wasn't going to be the day that I took my first ever Art of Rally world record. I at least wanted to set a strong time before heading off, so that it at least felt as close to achievable as possible in preparation for the next attempt. I'm just going to try for another 10 minutes or so, I really want to do another 55 second or 2 minute 55 second run that actually counts in the leaderboard and doesn't glitch out, um, and then I can kind of leave it for now and maybe come back to it another day. I'm still determined to get it, but I don't think it's happening this afternoon. It'll just take one breakthrough, like one really good run, and suddenly I'll only be, you know, 3 seconds off and I'll have that confidence that just tells me, you know what, you can do this. But until I get that, still just gonna sit sit with me, that frustration. Okay, it's gonna be a PB. 252.9, 252.9. It's still not loading in, which is frustrating. It's still saying 301.978 there. A 252.9 is putting me fourth on the leaderboard. I'm only, oh, I'm only five seconds off. Less than five seconds off now. It's getting closer. Obviously, the faster you go, the harder those small amounts of time become, but yeah, it's, it's there. I still think it's possible. I really do. Sadly, the leaderboard was still broken, so I rebooted the game and gave it one last go to register a time. I had a spin on this run, so if it's close, then I'm going to be really happy. But I just wanted to get any kind of time that's going to beat my previous best. Okay, it's actually not that far away, but it definitely beats the previous. 253.5 with a spin. Okay. Is the leaderboard going to update? Yes, it does. We've gone fourth with that, and that had a spin in it. And we're 5.4 off. Maybe I shouldn't stop for the day yet. Maybe I should just keep on going. Oh, it's so tricky. It's so tricky. That was the glimmer of hope I needed to be like, you can do this. Like, you can definitely do this. Now that I know the leaderboard's fixed, I'm going to just, you know, Try one or two more, what harm can it do? But inevitably, I had reached my limits for the day. It was time to call it quits. Nah, it's all gone wrong. That's, yeah. That's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, I've ended up getting closer than I thought I would, and I'm not gonna give up. I just need to do something else. And I will get this world record. I will get it. Just don't know when. So I ended the day five seconds away from glory. It was time to reset and fully recharge. Tomorrow, I was going to get that record, no matter what it took. I know I'm so close, but it's it's so hard to actually get that time in. I am a broken man at the end of my tether now. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it! <laughs>